Hello, kitties. Welcome to the Dick Butcher Show. I'm your host, Richard Dick Butcher. Welcome to our maiden voyage. And yes, I'm Australian. I love to put shrimps on the barbie, chasing down joeys, and I throw one mean-ass boomerang. But today we're going to meet film star William Menorkin Banish. He is awesome, and I want all of you to please welcome our good friend, William Menorkin Banish. Hello. Hello, America. Are you ready to talk about your exciting new film, Yakima Fever? Absolutely. It's really... It's, I don't know what David might have told you already, but it was really my idea all along. Kind of my inspiration, my baby. Well, and now we've birthed my baby. What was it like to work with a huge store like David Johnston? He's a fantastic thespian and uh, a true talent in the world and industry of the arts. Uh, I, I, I don't think I'm taking any license, creative license, to say that he learned some, some things from me as we got through, because of my extensive theater background. What is with the old accent? Are you still in character even when you're away from the camera? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't hear that. I feel very comfortable and in front of the camera from talking about my work in film. How do you spell film? F I L M M. You have some background in acting and performing? Uh, my background was in, uh, not vaudeville, but more of the up to date vaudeville uh, of Carnival. I was in a cage on display as Tommy the Tomato Face for 10 years. So, actually it wasn't Tommy the Tomato Face, it was Tipsy the Tomato Face, but I didn't like Tipsy because I was not Tipsy. I was Tommy. And as Tommy the Tomato Face, I performed every day, 365 days a year, on the road. So I used that inspiration, that experience, and that depth of humiliation to bring to the role of of my character. What is the name of your character in Yakima Fever? Wilson Lichtenstein. What bloke came up with that name? I did. Okay. It has it resonates with me mm -hmm. as a lewd, rude, tough son of a bitch. And uh, all through the movie, you'll notice David's character, Harley Johnstone, who refers to me in derogatory ways I'd using Lichtenstein. Wilson's the name, Harley. And he continues to go off script and, and saying things like lick my taint and lick my sack and lick my balls. It's just humiliating. But I was used to it because of my tipsy the tomato face experience. Humiliation in the uh, strange bedfellows. When you say Harley, my name is Wilson, I got the chills. Well, that's interesting, especially since that wasn't the line. What was a damn line then? The line read, My name is Wilson, Harley. However, I can see where you'd see that was movie. I think, I do believe we sent that into the Oscars, just, just for credibility and for evaluation. The donkey incident, what really happened? That was very sad. Uh, I really don't want to talk about that. Sorry, you're obligated to fess up, bloke. I wasn't sure why that was needed, that scene. But David said, we must have a donkey in the movie. I said, how about a burrow? He said, no, a donkey. Burrows are much more attractive and cute. No, I must have a donkey. If he had not had a donkey and had a burrow, a much more tame animal, more, has more uh, ability to be around people, that incident would not have happened, and that lady would not have been injured. I, I believe she fractured her pelvis. Whose cock did you suck to get the pot, William? 
I told you earlier this was my idea. And I took the script to David, which he rewrote. But I took to him the idea of actually it was going to be a road trip movie where we were going along the Highway 101 from Eureka, California up to Brookings, Oregon. And we were just going to have a conversation and run into interesting people. Seems like your original idea went to fucking back. Yeah, actually, though, we had not done the original, the actual stabbing. It was somebody we just happened to witness stabbing somebody. And oh. It ended up that he wanted to write us in as the character. Uh, and then Chuck, with his transition going on, we thought that, I thought that was very interesting. Why don't bring him into the set, create a character for him. He was very disappointed that he wasn't given the lead female role, which went to our craft services lady. Uh, I believe her name is... Um, Gertie Allen. No, that's not it. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's Chatterley. Lady Chatterley. No, that's her name. No, yes, it is. I call her Lady Chatterley. Anyway, she was on there, and, and David insisted that, that that was her role. And actually, you know, that was a good choice. She turned out to be fair to Midland. So are you getting any phone calls and scripts mailed to you now that the movie's out? Not presently. I have not. My phone does not ring. Um... But then again, my phone rings all the time. Not about that. If I should get a call from uh, uh, somebody like uh, 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 Scorsese or Spielberg or, let me think, the Black Brothers, they work in San Bernardino Valley. I may pick up the phone and tell them, yes, I will join your film and come and work in your film and get my inspiration from Tipsy. Tipsy the tomato head, right? Tomato face, not tomato head. Tomato face was a totally different character who ripped off my idea. He worked the West Coast circuit. We all know it. It was a gypsy tribe. He didn't even have a real birthmark on his face. He put a fake one on it. He covered his whole face with a birthmark. Well, how does that even happen? Tipsy the tomato head. What a rip. I believe he's still I believe he's still working though. He's still in the West Coast Circuit. That gypsy tribe they all back up and down the coast. What around the Bobby is you haven't been paid yet. No, but I, I got I got uh, points on the back end. Uh, I got points on the back end uh, past a uh, a threshold of of, uh, of 100 million dollars the movie makes. Whoa, whoa, I, I get this is gonna be real commercial success. Huh? 100 million is not that much, not in the film business. And once it gets past 100 million, then I'll start getting 0.00125 percent of every ticket. That's amazing. I know. I have worked okay, quite well, a deal. That's awesome. Um, hey, you know, I just want to thank you again. This is uh, this is great. This is a great experience. Thank you for having me. You're very. Welcome. This is your host, Dick Butcher, saying thanks, William, for being our first guest. This has been brought to you by the blokes at www.legendfreeway.com. Good day, mates. <laughs>